In the last video of this series, we talked about binary numbers and explained to you guys how they work. In this video, we're going to look at some examples here, but I'm going to apply them directly in Visual Studio. Let's start with 150. If I shift it to the right by 1, I will get 75. And if I shift it by 2 to the right, I will get 37. Here is a very brief program. I only have one header for input outputs. And then I have this int variable here. It's called number. And it's going to store the value evaluated by this bitwise operation. So here I have 150 with the right shift operator. That is the right shift bitwise operator. And then the number of positions I have to shift the numbers to. So here I want to right shift by one. So when I print this number here on this line, I'm supposed to get 75. Let's go to this menu here, debug, and select start without debugging. Here I get 75. So now if I shift it by two, I'm supposed to get 37. So I go here again, start without debugging, and now I get 37. Let's look at this here, 174. If I shift it by one, I'm supposed to get 87. Now I'm going to shift this number by one, but I want to show you guys that you can actually add variables in your evaluations. So instead of having 174 here, I'm going to have this as a separate integer. So I can have short int x equals 174, and then now I can have x shifted by one. I'm still going to get the number 87. Let's look at this here where I had a single number and I shifted it by three positions at once. So I'm going to use the right shift operator and then set the shifting position to i. And i here is going to be three. So I'm going to create another variable here is going to be a short int. I'm going to set this to i equals three. And then for x, I'm going to set this to 48. Now I simply need to say x right shifts by i. And here I get the number six. But what if you wanted to perform these operations directly in your output statements? If you try this here, you see that I already have a red line. It's an error. If I try to run this code here, start without debugging, I'm going to get an error. I'm going to click no, and the solution is very straightforward. You need to evaluate this first before you print the results here. So I can have a parenthesis here, opening parenthesis, and a closing parenthesis. And now the error is gone. This is going to get evaluated. In this case, we're going to get six, and then we're going to print six to the console. So now let's go to start without debugging. We don't have any error. It says no issues found. And when I go here, I still have six. So remember, this here is the right shift bitwise operator, and you can shift the bits from any number, either directly or through variables. It's really up to you how you want to do it. But that's it for this very short video. In the next video, we're going to look at the logic behind left shift bitwise operations.